Let's take a look at the simplicity of interfacing with C-Zone's digital switching system. I'm Brandon Christopher, East Coast Field Service Technician and Product Trainer for Furuno USA. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your TZ Touch 2 or TZ Touch 3 to the C-Zone system on your vessel. In this video, we will cover the physical interfacing, the setup and operation of the Furuno side of things, and how to add your MFDs to the C-Zone programming. This is something that must be done or problems will arise. We are going to assume that you have already installed the C-Zone system and it is operational. If you have not, you can visit them at czone.net. Here we have our C-Zone demonstration case because it is easier to show you this than an entire boat. We have connections that monitor and control ship systems, including a hatch lifter, engine room fan, water pump indicator, and various lights around the vessel. We also have four preset mode buttons here. These are quick access buttons that allow any number of preset things to happen with the single press of a button. As you will see very soon, this can easily be done from your TZ Touch 2 or TZ Touch 3 as well. Step 1 is to connect a NMEA 2000 cable from our C-Zone system to our TZ Touch 2 that we have here. Ensure that the connection is properly aligned and securely threaded on. Next, we will connect a C-Zone approved USB to CAN bus interface between our NMEA 2000 bus and a laptop with the C-Zone configuration tool installed. We have one here. Again, ensure it is properly aligned and plug it in. That's all there is to the physical interfacing. Let's hop over to the laptop and I'll show you what needs to happen there. Locate and open the C-Zone config tool on your laptop. In the top right, you can verify you have a good connection with your USB interface right here. In the bottom left, you can see six modules online. That means we do see the C-Zone network. So click on Read Config from Network. This will go out and retrieve the existing configuration file so that we do not have to duplicate it, allowing us to easily add the TZ Touch 2 to the system. Here we can see all our modules just popped up in green, meaning they are online and active. We want to add our TZ Touch 2. So in the bottom, we'll click Add. Module name should be something to help easily identify your module. In this case, we're using a TZ Touch 2, and it is the only one, so we do not need to denote upper, lower, port, or starboard, or anything of that nature. Your module type should be a DI, or display interface. Dip switch setting will give you all the available dip switches. We'll pick this one. Backlight zone, all displays on off, all displays dim up down. We do not use any of that, so ensure that these two are unchecked. Show AC mains control would be if you had your AC mains controlled by the C-Zone system. In this case, we do not, so we will uncheck that box. You do want to check switched module network power. This will keep the system from alarming when your TZ Touch is turned off while the C-Zone is on. Click OK. Come down to the bottom here and write config to network. Make note of the dip switch setting that you selected as we will need to manually enter that into the TZ Touch 2. And just like that, we're finished programming our Furno into the C-Zone network. Now that we have adjusted our configuration files to include the TZ Touch 2 into the system, we need to match that dip switch setting in the TZ Touch 2. To do that, we go Home, Settings, Initial Setup, scroll down to Graphic Instruments Setup, and then scroll down again to C-Zone Dip Switch Settings. Here, you match the on-off buttons to your ones and zeros. A 1 is on and a 0 is off. Our sign setting is 0000, zero, zero, zero 0100. So we will turn on the number 6 and turn off 7 and 8. Be sure to touch apply to save the settings. Then go back one page and touch add default C-Zone pages. 
This just set up a few pages for your C-Zone switches based on what was available. There are many ways that you can view and control C-Zone from your display now. We can slide out the data boxes from the left to view sensor or mode data. If you bring out the contextual menu on the right, you can see C-Zone modes here or C-Zone control here. If you prefer something larger, you can bring up the instruments page that was set up for you when we hit that button to add C-Zone default pages. This can be seen in a full or quarter page format, allowing you full access to all your switches and controls right from your helm. Here we have courtesy lights, and we can go ahead and close our hatch so that we can get underway. Thank you for watching. For more information on this or a myriad of other topics, please check us out at FarunoUSA.com or visit your local authorized Faruno dealer.